If one of the first things you do in the morning is wake up, reach for your phone, our next guest wants you to stop and do three things first. It's part of his plan to build up some resilience in the face of the ongoing pandemic. Neil Pazricha is the author of You Are Awesome, and he's joining us this morning with some tips on staying awesome during COVID-19. Neil, great to talk to you. Uh, I, I, I think it's a great thing to, to start with. You are awesome. If anyone can find the positive side of weathering a pandemic, I feel like it's you. So what do you want us to do before reaching for our phone every morning, which I am absolutely guilty of? <laughs> and so am I, which is why I came up with something called the Two Minute Morning Practice. Before you reach for your phone, grab a pen, grab a cue card or a piece of paper and write down three things. Simply write down, I will let go of, I am grateful for, and I will focus on. I will let go of is the first one, crystallizing and ejecting and anxiety. It's proven by research to increase feelings of contentment. I will let go of how much screen time my kids are getting. I will let go of the fact that I can't visit my mom in the nursing home. I will let go of the stress I'm feeling about wondering if I can find a job after this is all done. Write it down so it's not swimming in the back of your head all day. I am grateful for. This is important, Ben. We're all looking for negative things right now. That's what's feeding our brain. So you have to try to focus on the positive. I am grateful for having lunch with my kids. I am grateful for no traffic jams anywhere. I am grateful for finding a trail no one knows about near my house, whatever it is. And finally, I will focus on the cognitive load to our brains is astronomical right now. Who's talking about hand washing, washing groceries? It's overwhelming. So what you need to do is write down simply one thing you will do every day that you can cross off at the end of your day. What you will be doing is eliminating decision fatigue. And even if it's something simple, calling your brother, right? Writing an email to the boss, doing an exercise, something like that, you will feel more satisfied at the end of the day. All right, let's move on to this thing that you say. I mean, I've heard that we should cultivate new hobbies during the pandemic, but you take it one step further and you say you want us to find a weird hobby. What do you mean by weird? Because that's subjective. <laughs> I mean, weird. Nobel Prize winners are 22 times more likely than their scientific peer group to have a strange, unusual, or weird hobby. Why? Because if it feels like blur's day to you, then what's happening is your brain is falling into the trap of cognitive entrenchment. You are thinking about the same thing over and over again. It feels like Groundhog Day. Yet, the reason it should be weird, take up a weird hobby, is because your learning rate is the steepest when you know the least. Take up bird watching. I want to see you in yoga pants, Ben. Oh, geez. Take up oil painting. <laughs> Do something that you haven't done before. Why? Because you will make loose connections and you will grow your resilience through the pandemic. Neil, these are all great uh, uh, suggestions, and they make a whole lot of sense. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, what a great way to end the show. We really appreciate your time today. All the best, and please stay safe. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.